say initially, I think with us going into it, you're you're always kind of skeptical about going to seminars. And, you know, I said to my husband, well, you know, if I get one or two things out of it, you know, then, you know, I'll be happy. But we were so pleasantly surprised about all the information that we came away with from the seminar and the, the financing, you know, showing us really how to buy our first house and how to fund it is is the reason why we never got into it in the first place. And so even, even Neil really commented that he learned a lot for his own business too. Yeah, the, the, I, I like the people you had, you brought along as well, especially the, the tax guy. The uh, uh, that, that really opened my eyes to other things that I could do for my own business. Because yeah. I'm still running my own business, but Kristen does the flipping full time. I never really thought of holding and um, you know, having people rent our properties, but he opened my eyes to uh, long-term future goals for us yeah. in doing that. Yeah, we, yeah. Some people think that the flipping workshop is just for flipping, and they get there and realize it's for flipping, holding, wholesaling. That's for what we. So we at the end of the day, it's, it's nice to make big chunks of cash, but it's also nice to have residual income that comes in long after you're done working. Yeah, that rental segment that Glenn does is just amazing. How'd you guys like the bus tour, going out in the property tour? That was another reason why I decided to sign up was because of the bus tour. Yeah. And that was awesome to go and to actually evaluate a house and you know, run the numbers with you guys and find out how to do that. That was a big plus for me as to why I signed up. Tell us about post-workshop. So post-workshop, what are you up to? It's been a month or two or whatever, so what are you up to now? You guys have a house under contract, right? Really excited and we're under contract now. We should be closing in the next week or so and can't so wait to get started. What do you think you'll do on that house? So you got, by the time you're all said and done, what's kind of your projection? We're projecting to make 40,000 if we get on the lower end around 30, but either way, I mean, 30 or 40,000, I mean, that's good for our first flip. Yeah, that's, Fantastic. So that's you, awesome. That's awesome. You always hear about location when you're buying houses, and this particular home is on a trout stream in the backyard, and it's got a um, back screened in porch and it's walking distance to the little village and to the um, town park. What would you say to other women that are on the fence about coming to the workshop? Oh, I would definitely recommend it. If, if you love uh, this type of industry of wanting to, to fix and flip or even hold and um, make money for your long-term goals, for your retirement, this is definitely it. I, I love working for myself. So instead of sitting on the fence, take that leap of faith and good things will happen. They always do if you, you give 100% to something.